Good day, everyone. This is the movie recap for you. The plot of the film follows a young couple who buy a lifelike robot named Henry to care for their newly inherited home, and who gradually develops human emotions and love. Sophia and James, the film's protagonists bring in an old couch. Both were satisfied with their marriages and lived happily with average finances. James' father was a successful businessman who did not live with him. When James learns that his father has died, he receives everything. Now he will run his father's business. Sophie didn't like the sudden changes, but they accepted the reality because they'd been living this way for a long time. The next morning, Sophie fires two servants because they were used to doing everything themselves. When James learns of this, he tells Sophie, you shouldn't have done it, you can't work alone in this big house, so you need someone to help. Sophie, on the other hand claims that, I am not too lazy to do our work. In this way, we should be able to live in peace. This had an impact on James because he was in charge of the entire company, and everything stressed him out. Sophie was unable to complete all of her work. So, James said to his employee, she says his company had a scientist and his father also worked there. He created humanoids, that nobody knows whether they are machines or humans, that robots perform human tasks, and that James needed someone to do all the work, so he brings Sophie to that company. Sophie is shocked by all the robots when she is asked to choose any of them. They appeared to be humans. They choose Henry, a male robot. The robot's creator assures Sophie and her husband that they are safe, which is extremely helpful. To demonstrate this, he instructs Henry to lick James' shoes, which he does. It means they obey all human commands. They brought Henry to their house, and he did all of the work well. It was extremely beneficial to them. As a result, James liked him a lot and shared everything with him, but Sophie initially thought Henry was strange then slowly she liked him. She shared books with Henry, who had been trained to obey and please his owner. Sophie and her husband were initially upset, but they are now at peace. One day, Sophie questions Henry about feelings, love, and emotions. He explained love, emotions, and human feelings seeing this James forbids Henry from continuing the conversation. James was too busy for Sophie after he entered this life. James observed that Sophie liked Henry, so he became jealous, even though Henry was a robot. As a result, he disliked Henry, but he never forgot that he is a robot. But Sophie believed he was human because he had feelings, and Henry impressed her, but James doesn't like this. He tells his wife that he is a robot and that if she treats him like a human, he will act like one but Sophie is opposed to her husband. Because Henry was human, he did not make the same mistakes that humans do. At night, Sophie hears some noise, then she goes into Henry's room, but he isn't there. Sophie then notices Henry naked in the garden through an open door. When she approaches, she realizes he's dreaming, and James wakes him up and brings him inside. They tell the scientist the next day that Henry went to the garden at midnight. The scientist visits Henry at home, he assures them it wasn't their fault, it is a small error that won't repeat itself. Sophie informs the scientist that she noticed him as if he were dreaming. He claims Henry has been living with you for days, so he may have had a thought about you and felt something. Henry became a human because you made him feel human. Hearing this, James feels angry that everything happened because of her. He said you are treating him like a human, therefore, that error occurred, and you'll consider him an emotionless robot. The husband and wife grow upset with each other. James requests that Henry avoid his wife. Henry asks James, am I wrong? James says, don't argue with me. Just simply obey the order. The following day, Henry tells Sophie everything, and she leaves. Then Henry tells James that his marital difficulties are not his fault, they weren't close and couldn't spend time together after starting a new life. So, Sophie likes Henry. One day, when Sophie wasn't at home, James was intimate with Henry. Oh no. Henry feels bad due to this. James apologizes to Sophie and asks her to come back home, then she comes back. Now Sophie has started to like Henry. Henry develops human sentiments for Sophie and confesses his love, but Sophie feels worried after hearing this. So, she's scared, she asks Henry to go back. Later, 
Sophie tells her husband that Henry expressed his love, hearing this, James feels angry. He wakes up Henry and slaps him. He calls the scientist to take back the robot because they don't need it because he ruined everything. But Henry changed, Henry asks Sophie to keep him because he likes to stay. He tells Sophie that her husband has slept with him. After hearing this, Sophie feels very awful. Then that scientist comes to take Henry, but this time, Henry wasn't obeying his order. He insults the scientist, revealing a big secret, Henry exactly looks like a human because, in fact, he wasn't a robot but a human. As that scientist was responsible for this thing started a long time ago. He tried to perfect people. So, they did a lot of experiments on humans to make them perfect. Henry is one of them. He was brainwashed by him when he was a child. They taught them well and brainwashed them to believe they were robots. Okay, is it possible to change someone like this? His humanistic emotions emerged when he lived with Sophie and her hubby. When the police find this out, it takes all of the members of the company to settle this. The people who were considered robots when that scientist sees his experiment getting destroyed, he becomes mad and crazy. He kills the police officers that were coming there to arrest him. He also tries to kill Sophie and her husband but suddenly, Henry jumps in to kill him with a knife and protects them. He becomes very sad and he attempts suicide to dead. Then a few years later, we see Sophie and her husband with their child. They named him Henry. They never forgot Henry, he became a forever memory for them. So, they named their son Henry. Here the movie ends.